everyone. So today I'm doing DTF wash test. Um, so some of you have been asking about um, basically black DTF prints. So this is um, a black DTF print. Um, this is from like the original video that I made like ooh, sometime last year. I don't know. I washed this shirt probably once a week for like a year so it's been about 52 washes the black ink has not faded i will do a close-up in a bit just give me a second and then this one this is a big print a big dtf print so this was let's see i don't, I don't know how many washes probably like 15 washes something like that i don't know i've been throwing it in there a lot to test out these bigger um you know dtf and this has no like i didn't even knock out the black because i it was supposed to go on a gray shirt but it didn't end up last minute switch but anyway check it out it has not faded i'm doing a close-up i i don't care how it looks on camera you're gonna get as close as possible <laughs> anyway so yeah this is crazy right it's pretty it's pretty um yeah pretty i don't know i can't even say i can't even give i can't even speak it's great it's awesome that's all i could say i mean the stretch is still there there's no it's still vibrant it hasn't faded or anything so yeah this is about a year right and this is about uh, a couple months maybe like like i said 10 15 washes something like that I don't I, I lost count but anyway you guys want to see that and let me try to zoom in with my shirt you can't sorry I hit the camera but you can't really there's no fading no nothing on it so for those of you asking does the black fade after a few washes no I mean take a look at this one it didn't fade I think it depends on the type of inks you're buying your transfer from, like what, what, not your transfer, sorry. It depends on what type of inks you are personally using or your supplier is using. They might be using crappy inks that fade or they're just not curing it correctly. They're either over curing it or under curing it. So that could result in that um, black ink fading. Uh, but no issues, no issues whatsoever. I mean, it looks fine to me. I haven't had any issues. Uh, that DTF transfer is this one right here. It is from my supplier, which you've seen in my previous videos from Unreal um, Designs. And then this was mine when I had my DTF printer. Yeah, I mean, there's no cracking no issues no nothing i mean i have no problem with dtf transfers um find yourself a good supplier that's very important because there's a lot of people making a lot of crappy transfers out there um so yeah you got to test 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 in this market testing is important get your sample packs test out your products everything before you sell it to anyone um yeah well, anyway, I'm going to do a video. Actually, you know what? I'm going to include super color in this. <laughs> uh, so this is an original super color shirt from 2019. Although it's got a little bleach on there, but oh, well, who cares? Um, yeah, 2019. This thing's three years old. I've put it to the test like i don't know how many washes i mean three years maybe like uh for the first year i think it was like 52 washes and then after that who knows i probably already racked up 100 washes on this thing or more if anything um yeah this thing holy crap it has like withheld um the, itself that's all I, 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 I can't, I can't say. It's still soft. It's still vibrant. Nothing, no complaints, like with super color whatsoever. Not, 
not, I'm not uh, uh, sponsored by them or anything, if that's what you think. I'm not a partner with them. Um, I just, I, I like their product. I think they have an awesome product and a lot of people talk a lot of crap on it. And, you know, are they overpriced? Yeah, they are, but are they worth it? I think they are though, to be honest, like worth the price. It's not, they're, they're not bad transfers. I'm not going to lie. Um, now, do I prefer DTF over Super Color? Um, not necessarily. The thing is that Super Color is a great product. Like I said, I go with DTF over Super Color all the time because of pricing. Now, if Super Color was priced cheaper, I'd be buying it all the time um, because they have, in my personal opinion, great customer service. Uh, and yeah, I, I, I mean, they're a good company period. Um, you know, a lot of people have bad experiences, blah, blah, blah. I know I've heard all, all the stories, but, um, yeah, I think super color, I mean, their transfer lives up to the expectation and you can't deny that. Um, and those people that are having issues with super color, that's user error most of the time. Um. Like that's that's what it really comes down to um and you just have to fine tune it and yeah i mean check it out like this feels just as oh man i don't even know i love both <laughs> but anyway that's your dtf wash test update i will be releasing more i guess on other stuff but um i'll i'll be releasing a i think it's been maybe a few wash tests on the TKO transfers. For those of you that are interested, I'm gonna release a wash test on that too. So anyway, I'll catch you until the next video. Please hit that like button, subscribe, because 95% of you aren't subscribed to my channel and I don't know why, I'm just kidding. But anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, I hope this was uh, informative. Anyway, comment down below if you have any questions. Um, I'm out, peace.